We just checked into our Keys rental. We're in Marathon, Florida, in the Florida Keys. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. Now this is a duplex in Key Colony Beach. Uh, we rented it for two weeks. And one of the cool things about this place is they are dog friendly. Uh, we're gonna go inside first and then out to the dock. Check it out. Beautiful little rental. And... Hey, doggo. Of course, they allow dogs. Updated, everything you need for the three of us, or you know, even if you had a couple more kids. Nice kitchen, um, it's very well outfitted. They have everything you could possibly want. And, and a view, look at the boat down there. So a few things I look for in a Keys rental is one, a bait freezer. A lot of places have them. This one, this place has a really nice one. Um, that way you can buy your chum by the case because chums get getting more and more expensive and you need a lot of chum down here. Another thing I like is having my boat right out the back door. That way when I'm switching gears, coming from fishing to spear fishing to diving, it's very easy to move the stuff back and forth. I just have a little boat, so I can't um, keep everything on the boat at once. Uh, but this place, it's just a couple steps. I love it. So we've got our Bulls Bay tied up here. Um, like I said, it's really nice to have the boat super close. We've got a fish cleaning table right here. And it's just a short idle out to Vaca Cut. I also want to add... The link for this rental will be in the description. If you guys want to come down and stay in this place, it's very economical. And like I said, they take dogs. I also want to say, if you have a rental or an Airbnb someplace cool, and you would like it showcased on our channel, reach out to us. Our email will be in the description. Maybe we can work something out. Speaking of switching gears, we got to get the boat ready to go mahi fishing in the morning. See you out there. First Mahi of the day, folks. Mahi on the Monday. caster. Mahi Monday. What was that? Chunk Valley Who? It was a Chunk Valley Who on a jig head. <laughs> Woo! Nice. He's Good solo. One. He's solo, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a gaffer. They're so pretty. Did I gap him good? You got him good, babe. Woo! Yeah! Chase, move that up. Look at that. Didn't destroy any meat. First one of the day, folks. See it? Look at that gap job. Here, not so close, babe. He matches your shirt. You're like three inches from him. I want to get the gap. Okay. The gap job. Good job. Don't lose the gap. Good job. Okay. Here, grab that. <laughs> Where'd that bird go? I don't know. That was fun. <laughs> I want my jig back, bud. You want the flyer? You got him. You choked it down, huh? Yeah. Alright. Here we go. 
beautiful. Who do you want to put them? Um, in the fish bag. In the fish bag. All right. Twenty. Twenty-four. So this, this is what we want. We didn't get skunks, but we didn't do that great either. We ended up with this one bull mahi. It's a little bull peanut, so to speak. Um, and here's a pro tip. Yeah, we probably didn't have to gaff this one. Could have flipped it in the <laughs> boat. Fine. Is that the first fish you've ever gaffed? No. Anyways. It's just the first one that I've gaffed, like, good. But here's a pro tip. When you get in off the boat in the Keys at noon or 1 o'clock, and it's like hot as the surface of the sun, you ain't got to clean your fish right then. <laughs> Leave them on ice. Let them get them nice and firm so you can clean them good. Wait till that sun starts going down. Clean them then. But we're going to go inside and make some ceviche for tomorrow with this thing. Mm -hmm. And you guys have seen me do this. Come up, get that head meat. Got that toadfish fillet knife. This is the first one they ever gave me, and it's still sharp as ever. But... Come down just like that and a fish will benefit from a good ice job you know and uh if you try to clean them when they're not iced well you guys have seen me try to do that on the tug when we just catch those fish fresh and they haven't been iced it's much much harder than this come up then come over that spinal column get all that good meat just like this Pop those pin bones, come down over the rib cage. I was hoping, I said I'd hoped that we'd get at least five today. And I'm really yeah. pretty disappointed. Um, it was the first time I've ever been down here and seen so few birds and things in the water. But well, go ahead and get the other side. And just no seaweed anywhere. Yeah, there was not a whole lot of seaweed. At all. There was no seaweed at all. I've never seen that. Most years, there's more seaweed than you want. And you can't hardly troll a line because there's so much seaweed. Um, but it is, what's the date today, babe? 17th of July. July 17, Marathon, Florida. Uh, very few weeds. I saw some other reports of people that had tough times. Some people got lucky and found schools. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. It's fishing. If you guys only knew how many trips we go out that aren't successful, right? That you don't see, you know, of course, on YouTube and Instagram and all that, you only see the successful stuff, but there's plenty of stuff that is not successful. Well, I think today was rather successful in the sense that we have a fish to eat. Yeah, we could have nothing. It's one expensive mahi, though. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to go snapper fishing in the morning. I know that we've got a couple days of wind coming up, too. So, let's this off real Don't quick. Don't spray me. <laughs> I like these tables. Yeah, it's real nice. We should get one for the house. It's a good height compared to that one I use at home. Yeah. But, anyways, ways come off real, real easy. And for all those haters out there, this fish was 24 inches to the fork. Someone's going to say it. Legal fish. <laughs> Is that play? One. One more play here. I'm just holding the knife in one spot, really just working the skin back like that. Nice fillets there. Yeah. A little trick if you're staying in a canal, pop the eyes on your fish. That way they don't float up in two, three days. Like so. Go inside and make some ceviche. 
All right, guys. When life gives you limes, you make ceviche. We only caught the one mahi today. Conditions were tough. Uh, I've never, since I've been coming to the Keys, seen so few weeds and so few birds. But, you know, who knows? We might have just been in the wrong spot. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to assemble this ceviche for you guys. It's something I like to do every summer. I mean, even in the winter, but definitely a summertime thing. And I never make it the same way twice. But these are a few of the common ingredients I usually use. I have some red onion. And you could use white onion, but I would not use a yellow onion. A yellow onion's got a real strong flavor. Uh, white onion has a nice mild flavor. It makes good ceviche. But honestly, the red onions are just prettier. They're so purple. <laughs> Yeah, purple, red, whatever. Um, we're going to go in with that. And what I have here is the juice of eight limes and one lemon, just to kind of give it some depth of flavor. And if it looks like that's not going to be enough lime juice, uh, I've got a bunch more. Um, then I have some super ripe fresh tomato and jalapeno pepper from Pops's garden he brought mm -hmm. to us from South Carolina. So this is homegrown and from South Carolina. The rest of the world knows Pops as Wally, uh, but everybody in my hunt camp calls him Pops. So if you know Wally, drop me a comment like that. And you're gonna wonder, why is Ian sitting down making the ceviche? He's tired. It's I'm, well, <laughs> I am tired. You're always tired in the Keys. Like, I don't go on relaxing vacations. I go on no. vacations that are work. Uh, but I'm sitting down because of the lighting. <laughs> when I was standing up, there was some bad shadows. And, you know, it's the life of a YouTuber trying to make good videos for you guys. So we're gonna go in with our tomato. And that tomato actually has acid to it as well that will help cook this fish in the ceviche. And I did it all up on my toadfish folding cutting board, which is super cool. They're great for road trips like this, going on the road. A lot of times, even though this uh, Airbnb is outfitted very well, yeah, a lot of times they aren't. So I will pack my own cutting board and my own knife and things like that so when i get there you know they'll have like dull just bad stuff anyways um then we're gonna go in with our fish and i like all my stuff i like to dice it real fine um as small as you can get it because to me like when i take a bite of ceviche on a chip i like to have a little bit of pepper in there and a little bit of onion and a little bit of fish and a little bit of tomato in each bite or as close to having some in each bite as possible. And we're just gonna mix that down. It looks like it's just enough lime juice and it doesn't quite cover, but that fish will release some of its own juices as uh, it cooks, so to speak, in the fridge overnight. And I also, this is real fish heavy. I don't like my ceviche to be like a vegetable salad with a little bit of fish in it. I like it to be fish. Now, I am going to add avocado, but that's going to be tomorrow. I'm going to cook this in the fridge overnight. Cook. The lime juice is going to cook it. And then one little trick that I don't always do, but I'm going to do this time is Sorry, the, dog the dogs. The, the dogs can't stand it. It's just like because no one's paying attention she, to them. Well, she also loves raw fish. <laughs> hey, you stay. No dogs on the table. So Get a out. little bit of pineapple juice out of the can. Mm. And then some of those chunks as well. Mm. Crushed pineapple is really good. This is chunked pineapple. It'll work um, just like that. And that'll give it a, a really good islandy sweetness. Plus those jalapenos. And like I said, tomorrow in the morning, we are going to finish with the avocado and the cilantro. I'm gonna do one more thing real quick, just while I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. We brought all our own spices. Ooh. I brought down some of that k Fred. We need more. Yeah, we do need more. I talked to him about it. I gotta, I gotta put an order in. But this is on my Amazon store too. You can get this Cajun seasoning. Non-traditional in a ceviche, but uh, 
that gives a little salt and spice and um, pepper in there. And look at that, that's beautiful. We're gonna put this in the fridge covered overnight, take it on the boat tomorrow, and uh, eat it for boat snacks. We are at the sandbar. I don't see it. Probably what you doing, babe? Ooh. Shallower than I expected. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this ceviche. Ooh, I'm coming. Hold on. <laughs> what kind of flop was that? <laughs> Uber. Ooh, the ceviche. Oh yeah. Look at that. So you added... So I added uh, cilantro and avocado. This morning. Right, right before, right. well actually right before we came out here. Oh. So, you know, the fish soaked in the lime juice overnight. That's an aggressive amount of chips I cooked up there. <laughs> yeah. But is. my plan was to come do this. I wanted to eat my ceviche at the sandbar. Mm-hmm. Um, It's good. Okay, well, can I try some now? Uh-uh. What? <laughs> uh. Careful. Tell them what you think, babe. Okay, I'm gonna get some, some fish, some avocado. Ooh. A little bit in every bite. Mm-hmm. Give me shit. It doesn't get any better than that. Be, you're weird. <laughs> it's good. It's good. All right, so. The environment makes it better. I mean, <laughs> ceviche at the sandbar, marathon, Florida Keys, it don't really get no better. Handful of chips. See you on the next one. <laughs>